Hi everyone, welcome back and we're going to look at hydrochlorothiazide, its uses, dosage, precautions and side effects. So what is hydrochlorothiazide? It is a thiazide diuretic that is used in the treatment of hypertension, edema. It's also used in the treatment of hypertension in heart failure and in mild food retention in heart failures and off-label use. So dosage for adults in hypertension, the dosage is usually between 12.5 to 50 milligrams per oral once daily. In um, edema, the dosage is usually between 25 to 100 milligrams per oral once daily or twice daily. In hypertension in heart failure, the dosage is usually 25 milligrams per oral every day or twice daily. And in mild fluid retention in heart failure, the dosage is usually between 25 milligrams per oral every day or twice daily. So mechanism of action, first of all, it's a thiazide diuretic and it inhibits sodium reabsorption in diastole renal tubules, resulting in increased excretion of water and of sodium, potassium and hydrogen ions. So contraindications, it should not be given to patients with documented hypersensitivity to hydrochlorothiazide or sulfonamides. It should also not be given to patients with anuria. So caution, uh, caution should be used in patients with diabetes mellitus, fluid or electrolyte imbalance, hypercholesterolemia, hyperuricemia or gout, hypercalcemia, hypotension, systemic lupus erythematosus, liver or renal disease, hypokalemia, parathyroid disease. Also note that um, should avoid using it together with lithium and also sensitivity reactions may occur with or without a history of allergy or asthma. So side effects um, include anaphylaxis, anorexia, confusion, disorder of hematopoietic structure, dizziness, epigastric distress, fatigue, headache, hepatotoxicity, hypercalcemia, hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia, hyperuricemia, hypokalemia, hypotension, interstitial nephritis, Muscle weakness or cramps, metabolic acidosis, nausea, phototoxicity, pancreatitis, pulmonary edema, and so many other side effects. So if you experience any one of these, let your healthcare provider know. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching.